Hi, we're making our mask book today, and it's going to be quite, um, it may take a little bit of time, but I think it's, you're going to be very happy with it when you're finished. You should have a packet of card cardstock um, with lots of pages, okay? You should have a piece of ribbon. You should have two binder clips, and you should have a small piece of felt, two medium-sized pieces of felt, and a larger piece of felt. Okay, you're going to need scissors, crayons, and glue, and a stapler if you have it. And tape. All right, so we're going to go page by page, all right? So this first page looks like this. All you need to do here is color it, okay? And then cut out along the square that you see, like I did, okay? And then you want to punch two holes. The next one, you're going to color, and then you're going to take a brown marker or colored pencil or crayon, and you're going to draw a cross that goes, this is his, his hand here, you're going to draw a cross coming out of it, like I did. Okay, when you punch your holes, the way I punched my holes is I stuck the first page before, behind, and then I, I hole punched it so that the holes kind of lined up because we're making a book so they have to line up pretty pretty well okay now your next page looks like this all right you want to color the priest all right and then you want to color this here i colored mine red and the cross yellow but you can color it um however you want this is the the book that the priest reads from. All right. Then you're going to cut out those rectangles. So you have two pieces like this. Fold them in half. Put one in front of the other. Okay. And then you're going to take your stapler and you're going to staple it to make a little book. It says, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Okay. Then you're going to take your uh, string and you're going to glue it on the back of the book and you're going to glue the other piece to the priest's hand. So it's attached. I mean, you may have to let it dry a little bit, okay, but it's attached and then when you're working with it you can have him reading from it and then it just kind of hangs there when it's dry. Okay, oh, mine's sticking to my finger, not the paper. Okay. The next page looks like this. You're going to color it, and then color, you can color this if you'd like, and then cut out along the rectangle. And then you're going to take that rectangle and glue just on one side over the bubble. Okay, and I'll show you what that makes. When you open it, it says, the word of the Lord. When you open it, it says, thanks be to God. So notice that I only glued, you can tape it if you'd like, just that one side. Okay? Again, don't forget to punch the holes. This next one, just color and cut out the square. Punch your holes. Same thing with the offertory. Okay, color it, cut it out, punch holes. Oh, I'm missing a page. Must be at the house. Um, oh, it's right here. Okay, on this page, you're going to color the crucifix. You're going to color the bread and the chalice the host so this would be what the body and uh, the body and blood okay and to help us remember that it's not just bread and wine that it's actually body and blood we're going to cut this out and we're going to tape it above the crucifix so when we lift it it looks like bread and wine but it's really the body and blood of Jesus from his sacrifice so I taped it because it's easier to tape, but if you don't have tape and you want to glue just the top, then that, it's a little flip, okay? 
Then we have the Our Father, color it. I colored it bright because it's supposed to be happy. Okay, now you have two pieces of felt that have um, hand, hands outlined on them. I want you to cut those out and then um, color and cut out the square for your next page. Then you're going to glue the felt, just the wrists, onto the paper so it's like they're shaking hands. Make sure that the thumbs are up and glue them just on the edges. Okay. It's like they're shaking hands for the sign of peace. Now this next one has a lot of pieces too. You want to color it. Color the hands. And color the hosts. You want to cut out the hosts. Cut out the page. And then you're going to cut out this flap. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that flap and you're going to tape all three sides. Leave the top, don't tape the top, just, you're making a pocket, okay? So I taped along this side, this side, and on the bottom. And then you have hosts, the bread, um, Jesus' body that you can stick in there and take it out and stick it back, all right? And then this last one, you're going to use the last two pieces of felt. You're going to cut out the outline of the shirt. And you're going to cut out um, the outline of uh, the two hands. And you're going to glue the hands to the bottom of the shirt, the sleeves. And then you're going to take the just the body, not the sleeves, but just the, sh the two shoulders and the body part. You're going to glue to underneath the head. You're going to color the head. So the hands and the sleeves are free. And this is the, the, the blessing, the final blessing. And you, can, um, you want to leave this, the sleeves free so you can teach her the sign of the cross like you know how to do. Okay? Make sure they have holes in all of the papers. And then you're going to take your binder clips, slip it through the holes. Oh, I can't close them. Okay, and then number two, and then you have your book, and you can take it with you to Mass, you can follow along, it goes in order of the Mass.